Hey guys, first things first, like, yes that was two cards, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Bam! Back with card tricks and coffee. So I just got done performing. In a few seconds here, let's take a look and see what I did. Now, this will be my eighth episode for my social media and my Facebook. Strictly small clips I've been promoting to help people during the COVID-19. Now, the reason I'm posting these constantly every day is I want to give somebody or someone, you know, something to look forward to other than the sad, depressing news. And everything that's going on in the country and in the world. Yes, it's good to stay up with everything, but it's also good to escape. And that's why I'm doing magic more than ever. Hey guys, I'm back with another episode of Card Magic. This is the special edition. Card tricks and coffee. So we just finished our seventh episode. And you know what that means. It's time to get into our eighth episode. Of card magic. All right, everybody, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to shuffle the cards real quick. Now I'm going to start to deal all cards face down. I'm going to look away. You're going to remember one card. Here we go. I can stop any time. All right, so as I go through the cards, we can stop. Let's just say here. Doesn't matter. I'm going to put that down. We'll take some more cards. Um, we'll just throw them on top. Then we're going to take the rest of the cards, and we're going to shuffle them. Now remember that card you selected, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find it. How am I going to do that? I have no idea but I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go through the cards face down, but I'm going to look through the camera. I'm going to see if I can look into your eyes to find the card. <sighs> Nothing yet. Hold on. I, no. You just moved. I just saw that. Was this your card by chance? I mean, did you select the four diamonds? But how did I know that if I... And if you didn't see the cards were turning over, am I... Am I psychic? Because you took the four diamonds. I also got something planned today where I'm going to go meet... What up? Meet with one of my... Meet with your mentor, Travis. Just spit it out, would you? I'm going to go meet with my mentor. He taught me everything I know with a deck of cards. Now, I don't know if I'll have any footage, but maybe we could throw something together. Maybe me and him could work on something. And I hope you guys get the chance to check it out. If I do, well, you'll see it right after this video. Hey guys, it's late. I just got home and I did meet with my mentor. And we did go over a bunch of card stuff. And also, we didn't get any footage. Yeah, that's right. We didn't get any footage. Now, with that being being said was we basically scheduled the date I'm gonna interview him the man himself who created the bee stinger playing card the card that protects the casino from collusion cheats and everybody else in the world who's trying to take advantage yes the bee stinger that's in every single casino in the Las Vegas Strip that man we're gonna be sitting down meeting soon and I was hanging out with him today we went on a walk we exercised and of course, we social distance. Did you say social distancing? Well, you know. What is it, six feet? But anyways, you get what I'm saying. So yeah, a lot of great information. And I look forward to getting that interview in and sending it to you from the legend himself. Now, with that being said, should we get into some more magic? I mean, it's like <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back with another episode of Card Magic. And in this episode, I've got a special guest. Where is he? I'm right here. Sorry, you guys, that was in an Easter egg hunt. I won by a long shot. Oh, wow. You were really after those eggs then, huh? Yeah. So guys, Tristan's gonna help me out today and we're gonna do a quick card trick. So with that being said, Tristan, can you do me a favor? Can you uh, tell me when to stop? Yeah, sure. Stop. Right there, take this hard, don't let me see it. You got it? Go ahead and show it to the camera and everybody. Now, I want you to remember that card, okay? Do me a favor, throw the card on top of the deck. Hold the deck. 
Go ahead and hold it. I'm holding it. No, like from underneath. Oh. There you go. Now, <clears throat> keep it in the frame so they can see it. What's going to happen here is um, I'm going to focus on your card, okay? Okay. But I need you to do me a favor. Reach your hand out over the deck. Whoa. Did you feel that? I felt my pinky. You felt your pinky while I felt your card. Did, no, you didn't. You didn't take a card that represents Easter, did you? Like a like, like a king? Like king of all kings? Maybe. Like king as in Jesus? Did you take a king of hearts by chance? No. It was king of diamonds. King of diamonds. No, it was king of hearts. It was king of hearts. Okay, <laughs> not bad. Well, we just hope you all have a happy Easter. Until, happy Easter. Until next time. Until next time. Hey guys, I just want to say happy Easter. I hope you're all doing well and safe. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, people. <laughs> it's a little card magic. It was just something fun, but I think we had a good story behind it and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so we're back with practicing outdoors in nature. It's one of those most important things of being grounded, connected, and relaxed. In our last episode, if you haven't watched it, go back after you watch this, go back and watch the other episode on YouTube. YouTube, And you'll see that we got into one particular thing, and that was a flourish. That was the pressure fan. Now, I'm bringing this up again because I've emphasized so much on practice. So, how are you guys doing? Are you getting better? Drop me a comment. Let me know where you're, where you're at. How's your progress? Let's do a couple refreshers. So, you take your hand. Your two fingers, you're going to put them on top of the deck here. Then you're going to take your thumb, and you're going to put it on the bottom of the deck. We're going to bend. We're going to bend. And then what's going to happen is you're going to come in with your other hand, and as the guide, and eventually the cards will glide. And when they glide, there's a little bit of a rotate with the wrist. That's a kickback. So ready? See how the wrist moved a little bit? Just a little. It rotates the cards. All the work is done right there. I know make it look easy, but it's something that you want to practice all the time. It's, it's a powerful tool. Let's be honest. We all like to look good. All right, guys, so a quick recap before I get out of here. First and foremost, like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Second part, let me know your progress. Check in with me, leave a comment. Let me know how you're growing. Third part, is there anything that you want to learn? Is there something that I could start focusing on to teach you? Also, is there anything in particular that you want to see? Let me know and I'll get right to it. Practice sessions, always keep in mind that you want to do them in front of a mirror if possible because you're going to be able to see what they're seeing. Also, if you do have a camera like this, and if you wanted to try something um, right in front of your camera, maybe set something up at your home, so it's like if, if I'm here, right, and I want to do something, and then I can do that, and I can see it, and I can watch it back to see what you see. So it's just something, a useful tool to help you, because it, it really, really does, because you, now you're seeing what they're seeing. So every time you make a move, so if I'm here, and I see somebody's there in front of me, somebody's there, somebody's there, you start to get a different perspective when you practice in front of either a camera or a mirror. So... A lot of times I used to practice this and I would go in the frame and if I wanted to get out of the frame, I know I had to bring more force to it. So I would just sit here and then I would do a bunch of different ones and then I get real up there. Oh yeah, I forgot in the last video I was gonna show you guys something. It was, uh, I was gonna have a practice session and we had this great light right here when we heard a dog barking so I stopped. So this is what I was doing last time I'm here. I'm making cards disappear and then come out of nowhere, right? I know I'm not throwing them in the tree, although it would be kind of interesting, right? So it's like, ooh. one more time, ready? Here, gone, oh, there it is. Practice sessions are the best, especially in nature. Connected, relaxed, centered, and focused. All right, guys, it's been fun keeping it real, as always. Until next time.